Do you want to be able to export locations from OSRS into Blender for use in thumbnails or animations? Then this is the tutorial for you. In this tutorial, we're going to go over all the essentials of the OSRS environment exporter. So without further ado, let's roll the intro. Now the first step in exporting old school RuneScape environments into Blender involves downloading the OSRS environment exporter. I have a link to the GitHub page which will always go to the latest version in the description. When you click that link, navigate down a little bit in the page and you'll see a button that is titled the OSRS environment exporter zip. Click that bad boy and download it and Bob is your uncle. Except Bob is not your uncle yet. There's a couple of things you probably want to make sure of. Number one, you need Java 11 or higher to run it. You may need to download the latest version of Java. It's the most common issue people have when trying to use the software. Once that download is complete, extract the contents of the zip folder onto your computer. Now that you have extracted the folder from the zip file onto your computer, you now want to open the exporter. To do this is really simple. Press the run button and it will open the exporter. Now what you need to do is select the version of the game cache, and this is only for the first time you set it up, that you want to run. Then once that's done, hit launch and you'll open the exporter and you'll be met with this interface. On this interface is a couple of buttons that you'll need to be aware of. There is the preferences option, which has a whole series of options in it. And we're not gonna go into too much detail about them today. Play with them at your own leisure. But the important stuff is in the world tab. There is a location search and custom grid. The location search allows you to quickly type and search particular items. And the grid allows you to select some specific region IDs to export. To work out what the region IDs are, if they aren't in the search option, you need to open XPLIV's map, which is located quite conveniently in the location search. With that open, you'll be able to select the following two options on the map, region grid and the region labels. Then find the number you want and you'll be able to enter that. For example, if you go into the world, load custom grid, if you start typing in 12082, then that will load the cache location for Port Sarim. Another thing that is pretty handy to know is the radius. So for example, if we were to look up Lumbridge with a radius of eight, then we would be presented with this massive world space. Once you have that done, go to the export button located in the top left-hand corner of the screen and press that to export your files. Once your export has been completed, you now want to be able to put it into Blender. This is pretty straightforward. And to do that, you have to go file, import, and then you have to make your way down to the GLTF 2.0 file format. Then you want to navigate to where you had the environment exporter set up, press the output folder, and then you have a series of folders with dates. To open that folder and open the scene GLTF file. And there you have it. You have just exported your OSRS environment into Blender. To make sure that you are viewing it properly and to have it not all be white, change over to the material view option. And there you have it. You can now export OSRS environments into Blender. With that in mind, you may want to check out my other tutorials if you want to expand your repertoire of lighting or maybe setting up specific animations, or maybe you just want to subscribe to the channel to check out more great tutorials and things like that. See you in the next one.